Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an earthy ice dye. I got some new colors from Happy Cat Tie-Dye, and most of them are earth tones, so I thought I'd try them all on this shirt. I'm using a ladies v-neck t-shirt, and I've prepped it like normal. I also have it turned inside out. For this shirt, I'm going to do some vertical sinew lines, almost like there was a huge geode and this is just kind of a little portion of that geode. I hope that makes sense. I've never done a design like this before, so I kind of have a vision in my mind and we'll see if it works out. I'm making the lines pretty far apart too. I'm not going to put them really close together. Like I said, envision like a great big huge geode and you just kind of zoom in to one spot on that geode. After I tied this shirt, I placed it aside while I was tying some other shirts, and I didn't get back to dyeing it for a couple days. So the shirt is completely dry at this point. It doesn't necessarily need to be dry though, because even though it's kind of a geode type shirt, it's not thick like a geode. Okay, like I said, I'm going to use a whole lot of earth tones on this shirt, and all of them are Happy Cat tie-dye colors. I've placed the shirt down inside of a metal strainer or colander, and I have the colander over the top of a plastic tub. That's going to keep it out of the muck, and all muck is, is the melting ice that's mixed with the dye. I'm going to apply the dye over the top of the ice so that it gets more of a watercolor look. So I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of ice to the top of the shirt. I'm going to apply the dye in stripes across the ice. To help with the spacing across the ice, I kind of skipped around a little bit with the way I applied the colors, but let me give you the colors in the order that they're actually applied on the ice. That'll be a little easier. I used Enchanted Sunset, followed by Silver Spring, Desert Storm, Oat Milk, Rust Monster, and Butterbeer. Those sound like some interesting names, so I'm curious what the shirt's going to look like. Now over the top of the ice, I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash and then I'm going to put this container aside and allow the ice to melt. After the ice melted, I placed this container in a warm place and allowed it to process for probably about 24 hours before I began rinsing it. So to rinse the shirt, I took it to my utility sink and I started rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of rinsing for a long time, I decided to go ahead and soak the shirt. So I placed the shirt into my utility sink, ran some really hot water in the sink, and then added a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until my water was remaining almost clear. Then I put the shirt, along with some Dharma's Professional Textile Detergent, into my washing machine, and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Okay, so the shirt has been washed, dried, and ironed, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? This one is definitely very earthy. I kind of, 
I mean, the minute I unwrapped it, I thought, wow, this looks like I had some metal that rusted. But I actually kind of like it. At first, I didn't. I unwrapped it and I thought, ooh, I don't know about this. Not that there's anything wrong with the colors, but I think putting all the colors together, since they're all a little bit too similar, was maybe not a great idea. I wanted to try all these colors though, and I couldn't come up with where to try them because I wasn't quite sure what the colors were gonna do. So I just thought, okay, let's just stick them all on a shirt together. Well, I did that, but because they are close in color, I can't exactly tell which color is which because with the design that I did, they just kind of all flowed together. I do like the little pop of kind of like red burgundy that came out of one of the colors. Just based upon the names, I suspect that probably came out of the Enchanted Sunset. I have used the Enchanted Sunset on something else and it split kind of that color and yellow. And I have used the Silver Spring before, so I think maybe that's where the blue that is in one of my lines came from. It's just a very small amount of like a, a blue staining on my sinew line. I think all these colors would be really good to use with some other earthy tones, like some greens. I think they'd even look great with, you know, some oranges, blues. I'm gonna have to try them individually with some other colors that I, I'm more familiar with so that I can see the color splits and exactly what each color does. But like I said, the more I've looked at this shirt, the more it's kind of grown on me. You know, this isn't really my color palette. Anything with that yellow tinge to it, I normally kind of steer clear of because they look really bad with my hair and skin color. But I don't know, I'm just kind of digging this one for some reason. But what do you guys think? Do you recognize these colors? Can you maybe shed some light on which color's which on this shirt for me? I know some of you have used some of these Happy Cat tie-dye colors before, so you may be able to recognize them in this shirt. Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And what do you think about this like vertical sinew line thing that I have going on? I wanted it to be kind of like a snapshot and you zoomed in on a geode. I think it kind of has that look, and I like that, but what do you guys think? I'd like to try this design again, except maybe use a little bit different color palette. So if you've enjoyed watching me make this video and experiment with these colors, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll click the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.